What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel Ask Jimmy Smith and specifically to this video on the three essential software programs for Amazon online arbitrage and wholesale sellers. Even if you do retail arbitrage, these can be helpful for you when on your computer evaluating products. So be sure to watch no matter what the type of seller that you are. Now in this video, I'll be discussing how these three simple programs can help you find profitable products, manage your Amazon business and grow your sales and profit. First, let's dive into my favorite one, which is Keepa. Now, Keepa is a browser extension that provides real-time pricing and sales rank data for Amazon products. I've done multiple videos on Keepa specifically. I've got a whole playlist on Keepa. Highly recommend checking that out if you are brand new to Amazon selling. Ultimately, this information is crucial when it comes to determining whether a product is currently a good candidate for online arbitrage or even retail arbitrage or wholesale, as well as tracking price changes over time and identifying products that are likely to be profitable in the future. Keepa also provides a wealth of other information, such as the prices of used items, shipping costs, and product reviews all in one place, including seller history, everything that you need to know from the history of an ASIN on Amazon, you can get that with Keepa. Now, to show you how Keepa works, I'll take you through a quick demo of the Chrome extension. Now, as you can see here on this Keepa graph, this is what Keepa looks like, and I'm currently looking at a a newer product. It's around Valentine's Day that I'm recording this video. And so we're going to be going through a product that is a Valentine's Day product. But Keepa, you can see the sales history. Now, if I look at the last year, this is something where it hasn't really sold much throughout the year, except for random times where you see the sales rank drop because somebody had maybe a random bag of this stuff. I'm not exactly sure. But ultimately, because this is a Valentine's Day product, you don't see much history throughout the summer months. And because it's meltable, you don't see much seller history throughout the summer months. Now, you can see here this green line shows you the sales rank information which indicates that it is selling if you see it going up and down whenever you don't see much history going on that means it's not selling if you're looking at the buy box which is this pink line here you can see the pricing history of that product which helps us to know if it's a stable product so if we're looking at this most recent time over the last month or so we can see that it started around $30 and the buy box dropped down to $15 so that means to me that it is a more volatile priced product which is concerning if you're trying to know that you're going to make money from a product. If you thought you'd make profit at $30 and it drops to 15 or lower and you're losing money, that can become problematic. And then the last most important piece is down here, which is the new offer count. And we can see there were a couple sellers last year around February, March time. And now this year, these sellers have shot straight up because those sellers have gone up and there's more supply than there is need for the demand. We are seeing the price drop. And so as sellers go up, many times you'll see the pricing drop. And so this is why it's such an essential tool for online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, wholesale, etc. This gives you so much pricing information and not just pricing information. It gives you history for pricing, sales rank, shipping information. It can help us to ultimately determine whether this product is a good candidate for online arbitrage, wholesale, retail arbitrage, etc. and whether it's likely to be profitable in the future. Now, with a Keepa subscription, you actually get access to their Keepa Data Product Finder as well to help you find more profitable products that meet certain specific criteria that you want to find in terms of the buy box price or FBA price, sales rank drops, number of sellers, and really hundreds of other options that you can put into the advanced Keepa Data Product Finder. Now, I've gone through a tutorial in the past on my channel that will be linked in this video, either in the description or up above. So make sure to check that out. I actually have a whole playlist for how to use Keepa and you can get my free 17 page startup guide at askjimmysmith.com forward slash Keepa guide. I've trained thousands of people with that guide on how to set up Keepa, how to use it. So that is the one that I recommend checking out if you just want a free guide for how to use the basics of Keepa. Now the second essential program will either be one of two options, which is RevSeller or ASIN Zen. And that really depends on your preference. Both are similar. My favorite is RevSeller. And so that's what I'm going to show uh, from a demo perspective. RevSeller is a Google Chrome extension. It provides Amazon sellers with additional data that you don't normally have access to when viewing a product page. So it actually works by automatically loading in the most important information directly on every Amazon product detail page that you visit. It summarizes some of the most essential information you'd want to know to make buying decisions, such as current and average pricing, current and average 
sales ranks, a built-in ROI calculator for both merchant fulfilled and FBA items. There's a small and light fee checker, ASINs, parent ASINs, dimensions, weight, a link to keep up, a link to check for restrictions, hazmat checkers, so many things within this Google Chrome extension. Now I'm gonna show you how it works here in a second, but ultimately this is my favorite one. I love the layout. Uh, there are other options such as ASIN Zen, as I mentioned earlier, and I'll kind of give you some of the differences here after I go through this demo. But RevSeller is the one that I like, and I also have a discount link that I'll share with you in just a second. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, this is what RevSeller looks like. Now within this, you can see that it's got all the basic information that you need. It's got your rank, what category that it's in. It's got the current selling price for fulfilled by merchant and FBA. You can see the different offers. If I were to click on the offers, it would open all of them up for me. If I click on that, it should pop out the different offers on there and the different prices from all the different sellers. So I really like that that's an easy thing to click. Uh, FBM, you can also see, but you can put in your buy cost. So if this were to cost you $4, then you're making $2.23 at a 56% return on investment and a 19% profit margin. You can see some of the new information for low FBA, low FBM, low FBA, buy box, et cetera. Uh, and you can also see the weight if it's a large standard product, if it's a small product, an oversized product, it gives you all of those details and takes those fees into account. Now, if it is a small and light product, because it's at $12, you're actually getting small and light fees taken out, which is very important. I've done a video on small and light recently, so you can check that out on my channel as well if you're curious about how that works and why it can be an important program to enroll in. But if you were to up this currently, the $12 is the maximum small and light product. If I were to make this $12.01, you can see that the fees went down or the profit went down to a dollar and 26 cents. So just by going down to 12 bucks, Rev Sellers is telling you, hey, you're gonna make almost a dollar more even though you drop the price by a penny. So that's where this can be helpful. You can make sure that you're making profitable purchase decisions and you can see all the basic information that you need. Additionally, up here, it shows that this is a meltable product. So you can only sell this during specific times of the year with Amazon so that the product doesn't melt at their warehouses. Now is, you know, during the winter months is typically whenever you're going Going to want to send in all the meltable products you won't want to do that in the summer months it will also show you hazmat if it is a hazmat product and it will show you if you can sell this product on your amazon account if you're logged into that and then here's the links to keep a camel 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 there's an amazon calculator and other links as well and additionally you can go through some of the settings on rev seller which if you want me to go through rev seller settings post a comment below so that i know if you want a specific video on how i set up my rev seller information because you can choose how you want fees to be calculated. You can choose your shipping to FBA. You can choose how you want your ROI and your margins to be calculated. It's very customizable. And so I highly recommend using that. Now, if you choose to use Ace and Zen instead, there are some extra features within that software, but the program costs about $50 more per year if you do the annual plan. Now, if you do a monthly plan with Ace and Zen, it's actually gonna be more money than that as well. But ultimately there are some more details that it provides with in that software, such as an IP alert. So if there's a suspected issue or any past history with that specific brand or sellers filing IP complaints against someone's account on that ASIN, it's not going to be perfect with this feature. So still be cautious with any brands that you decide to buy that it might have approved. But ultimately, I do know a lot of people that like that feature on there. Typically, I recommend using a separate software called IP alert, but you don't need it, which is why I personally recommend RevSeller. I like it. It's a little bit cheaper. I love the layout better. And personally, it's just easier for me to use, but both are good. I've used both and I've currently used both at different times with virtual assistants. I actually like Ace and Zen a little bit better because you can give them user permissions versus RevSeller doesn't have that feature as far as I know or have ever used. So I do have an affiliate and a discount link for RevSeller. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash replens RevSeller, if you go to that link, you can get a discount code and I highly recommend it. Again, it is an affiliate code so obviously I do get uh, some commission from that. It's one that I recommend because I like it so much and use it so much. Now, the third essential tool is free, which is everybody's favorite word. I've talked about it on the channel before and it's called DS Amazon Quick View. Now, again, I only use the free version of this software. They do have a paid version. I have yet to see the need for it. It obviously can help, but I personally like just the free version. Now, DS Amazon Quick View is a Google Chrome extension. It provides additional data on the Amazon search results page, which I'll show you here in a minute, upon installation, users will have access to a product's sales ranking, the ASIN and seller information, such as whether it's sold by Amazon,
Amazon or an FBA seller, which is my favorite part of it, that it does show you if Amazon's selling this already and how many other FBA sellers are also selling it. Now with this tool, you can quickly access a bunch of full product details just by hovering over the product listing. Typically though, for the majority of the information that you're gonna hover, that would be the paid version of the software, which I don't see the need for. The purpose of this software is gonna be to save you time, which is the most important thing that we can try to save. So no longer are you going to need to individually click on each product listing to gather that information, the sellers, if Amazon's on it, the rank, et cetera. All of that information that you're gonna require will be readily available right on the search results page, which makes the process of product research much, much more efficient, makes it faster, helps you to find more products much more quickly and know if it's even worth clicking into it. Because if you're just seeing Amazon's the only seller, there's no other FBA sellers, well, that is a good indicator that maybe it's not worth checking. Not always, you can still click into it, decide what works for your business, but those types of pieces of information can help you make those decisions much faster and not have to click into a bunch of pages that are worthless for you to even look at. So let's go ahead and get into a quick demo of DS Amazon ClickView. So on my screen, you can see that I have just done a basic search for candy. Again, it's around Valentine's Day that I'm recording this video. And so you're gonna see a bunch of different Valentine's Day type of products. But what DS Amazon ClickView looks like is right here. And now you can see if I hover over the price history or the Keepa history, it's saying, hey, you have to pay for that. But the important information that I need to make decisions is in the free version as of this time. You can see the sales rank specifically. So I like to know that something has sold if I'm going to check it. And so having the sales rank is helpful. You can see the ASIN. And then this is the piece that I like the most, which it says sold by Amazon. And you can see if it's not just sold by Amazon and has other FBA sellers, it'll show you that as well. So you can see sold by Amazon and there's over two FBA sellers here. What I typically like to look for, if I'm just trying to avoid competing with Amazon on products, is I will scroll down here and say, oh, cool, there's only one FBA seller here. Now, because there's one FBA seller, that means it could technically be a private label product or a branded bundle type product. So it might not be worth checking, but it's still something that I would want to click on just to double check that there aren't a bunch of other sellers that used to be on it and now they just aren't anymore. Also, if you're using Keepa, you can have it hover and see in the bottom right corner, it gives you a little Keepa graph, which is kind of nice. You don't really need this Keepa history on the DS Amazon QuickView Extended because if you have your own Keepa subscription, you can have it hover and show the the basic Keepa graph down in that bottom right hand corner. But continuing on, you can see, okay, sold by Amazon, one FBA seller, sold by Amazon, two FBA sellers. The best listings that I like to look for typically are going to have more than one FBA seller and they're not gonna have Amazon on them. Because I did a basic search for candy, we're getting a lot of sold by Amazons. But if I keep going, you can see here, there's eight FBA sellers on this listing. And that's the one that we just looked at for Keepa and for the rev seller example. So I like to look at those things because it helps me to hopefully see a product that Amazon is not on. Now, if I go back to that page, you can see that Amazon's not on it. Let's see if I go to the all. Amazon has not been on it since back here in uh, since back here in 2019 at some point. So you can pretty much bet that for the most part, this listing has been safe from Amazon coming on and maybe potentially lowering the price. As you can see, actually, when Amazon was on it back here, it was a lower price. Back here, it was about 487, five bucks. That's in 2018. So I'm sure the price has gone up over the last five years, but still it's very good information to have so that you don't waste your time clicking into a bunch of listings that are only sold by Amazon that you can't touch anyway. So I like to go through, okay, two FBA sellers, let's see what this one looks like. And if I click on it, it gives me, you know, the basic information, rev seller will pop up, as well as the Keepa chart down here. And I can see everything that I need to know. Amazon used to be on it. Ultimately, they aren't just on it incredible amount. So I would be willing if this was profitable to potentially test the product. So there you have it. The three essential software programs for Amazon online arbitrage, wholesale, retail arbitrage sellers. The three again are Keepa, Rev Seller slash ASIN Zen and DS Amazon QuickView, specifically the free version of that extension. They are all excellent tools that can help you find profitable products, manage your Amazon business, grow your sales and profits. If you're serious about growing your online arbitrage, wholesale, retail arbitrage business on Amazon, I highly recommend that you check out these programs, see how they can help you achieve your goals. There are links in the description if you need them, as well as posted in the video as I went through them. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using these software programs, always make sure that you understand Amazon's policies and procedures. Don't just be buying stuff and sending them in. You want to make sure that you're ungated. You want to make sure that you are able to list those products, that it's profitable, that you know the selling history using Keepa, etc., and that you comply 
comply with all the regulations that Amazon has. Now, typically it's fairly simple to do that using these software programs. They help you to know what you can sell, but I just wanted to give that caveat. It's also important to continue learning, staying up to date, finding new software programs that you love. There's so many out there. Those are just the three essential ones that I believe that you need on a basic level for online arbitrage wholesale and as well as retail arbitrage if you're doing any kind of product research on your computer at all. Now, ultimately, I recommend moving forward to stay up to date with those developments that you check out this free e-commerce Facebook group that I've been in for over seven years with over 70,000 members. It's at bit.ly forward slash MST group. This is my favorite group. I've been in it for over seven years. I love it. If you're interested at all as well in finding a course on online arbitrage or retail arbitrage or wholesale, you can head over to my website at askjimmysmith.com forward slash sell dash on dash Amazon because I give recommendations for my favorite courses or if you're interested in my course, it's also there. Typically, they're all within the proven Amazon course because that's where my course resides and that gets updated continually with more and more content on OA, RA, wholesale, private label, branded bundles, etc. That's my recommendation. You can find the link in the description as well. Now, in conclusion, Keepa, RevSeller, and DS Amazon QuickView are the three essential tools that can help you find profitable products, manage your Amazon business, and grow your sales and profits by taking advantage of the wealth of information and features provided by these programs. You can streamline your arbitrage process and take your business to the next level. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to respond. I try to get to every every single comment that comes through as I can anyway. And so what are some of your other essential online arbitrage wholesale or Amazon FBA tools? Let me know that in the comments section below. Lastly, I recommend watching my other videos on my seven favorite Amazon Chrome extensions if you enjoyed this video. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel, so check that out next. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Amazon, e-commerce, side hustles, etc. I cover a bunch of different finance related topics on this channel, how to make more money with the spare time that you have and turn your side hustle into a full-time income. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.